But I'm interested in another thing that is like a non-Soviet woman or maybe the anti-Soviet woman mm -hmm. um, because um, really the construction of the superwoman is not uh, looking so appropriate in Russia today. Uh, it's too strong. Mm -hmm. It cannot be so strong. It's just the grandmother. It's not you. <laughs> uh, like you should be more feminine. Mm -hmm. You should be less active. You should be shy. You should be with kids. Is that that's the contemporary? Yes, that's the contemporary gender. And uh, when you are like a, a, a superwoman, you you are uh, becoming to be too masculine. Mm -hmm. So it's like something queer. Yeah. As we see it on the uh, posters of the 50s mm -hmm. and of the 40s and of the 30s, she's like some queer person. She's, uh, she's not really, uh, we, we don't see her as a woman. It should be explained to the young people that she, it's she a woman. Like genderless. Now we don't live in a modernist utopia mm -hmm. anymore. And we want to have our own space. And also we want to have a dialogue with other generations of women who lived mm -hmm. in this utopia. An interesting artist working within that field and posing those questions? Uh, well, uh, yes, of course. There is, for example, a graffiti crew, Gandhi, mm -hmm. and uh, they are creating large murals uh, depicting mm -hmm. contemporary women in Russia and uh, stigmatized people. There is uh, Victoria Lamaska. Mm -hmm. uh, she is drawing series of uh, graphic reports about the daily life of people in the post-Soviet spaces mm -hmm. and the street activism. And uh, there is uh, Ilmira Bolatyan picturing um, scenes from the open social spaces like Moscow subway, mm -hmm. for example. Comments on the um sort of classical gender divisions, the, the ah, gay I and see. heterosexual and, and the pressures maybe um, yes, of course, certain communities yeah. have. Yes, there are photographers and uh, graphic artists like Hagra, for example. Mm -hmm. And Hagra is uh, like a graphic artist who is trying to form a picture of a contemporary queer person in Russia. And it's very funny and interesting. And uh, there is, uh, for example, Olga Akhmetyeva is a photographer who is um, working on this problem of the gender gap mm -hmm. and what is closed and what is open mm -hmm. and Just what is fluid in this contemporary gender. What role do pussy rides <laughs> play, <laughs> in your opinion? or mm -hmm. their appearance? Was, was, it, was it a sort of a positive thing for, for women? Well, yes, of course. Every event like this uh, is very positive for the feminist movement. When Pussy Riot, uh, where, when the, the case of Pussy Riot was on, uh, it was a conflict between uh, feminist activists, mm -hmm. social and political activists, and the Pussy Riot crew, because Ah, uh, they didn't agree like what feminism is <laughs> because Pussy Riot like denied that feminism is a social issue. But uh, then it changed because uh, after they were imprisoned, Pussy Riot started to talk about feminist politics in Russia and it's very important, I think. Let's see what do they do.